Today I want to recycle or upcycle some of my own art. This here was part of my first intro picture for my channel and now I want to use the back side of it. I already attached this uh, upholstery trim but it needs to dry so side by side I will be working on a second piece and that is this frame you see here. I covered it in gauze and I added some washers. I do like the feel of it, but I think it's not really complete. And also I'm not crazy about the color. Now it had something in the middle which I removed and I added a new piece of cardboard. But that was a little premature. I will take the cardboard back out and just work on the frame some. So I will be going back and forth between these two pieces. So I start out by marking the space. This little image will take on the inside of this canvas. Now this comes from an old fashioned photo book and it's a lady in a bubble. And I think this will fit nicely to the idea I have for this uh, canvas and you will see in a moment. For now I'm filling in the holes in the frame. I also add some texture paste to the ledge and across the ribbon. And as soon as that is done, I can go on and in an afterthought, I actually add one of those ball chains all around it one more time. Now, I could have easily embedded this in my texture paste, but as I said, I didn't think about it at the time and that's okay. So instead, I attach it with my tacky glue. Of course, that needs to dry again, but then I can cover everything with white Yes, so. Now for the other frame my intention was to add a few more embellishments to the corners. So I found some gears, I found some clock hands and some keys, but I forgot to turn on the camera. But this is the way it looks now. And I also went ahead and covered this with gesso, but I used black gesso. Now here I am actually adding a tiny bit of white gesso as well and that's mainly just so that my metallic colors I will be adding soon will be brighter than just painted on the black background and it really makes a difference. I am using shades of teal and also some off-white champagne color mainly for the corners and as I mentioned earlier I quite like this frame just the way it was, but it wasn't quite complete and I think the color change benefited it as well. So from here on, I think my steps are rather simple. So I will turn you over to a little bit of music and I will talk to you towards the end. Enjoy.
So both of my projects are done. So let's take a look at the first one here. This bubble packaging I received from a friend was just the right size to fit over this image. And of course the image being a bubble itself seemed the perfect fit. I used the slightly larger metal rings for the bubbles with the images. And otherwise those rings which are part of uh, snap buttons, the type you find on baby clothes. So I went ahead and covered the original artwork with a nice piece of fabric. I also added a hook and I quite like this piece. It's rather unique and different. I like different and I also like texture and the combination of teal and copper. And now on to the second piece. And yes, there's a little surprise here. I just couldn't make up my mind of what to put into this frame because I like it just the way it is now. And so I opted for this medical image here. I had it for a long time. I found it at a thrift store and I always hesitated to use it in one of my collages. So I added it to the frame in its original plastic sleeve and I only attached it with some double-sided tape. So if at some point I want to take it away and use it in a different manner, or if I find something I like better in this frame, I can always readjust things. For now, I'm quite intrigued with the look and I will definitely hang it up here in my art room until I come up with a better idea. I find it satisfying to upcycle my own art and bring it up to date. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming and bye bye for now.